I'd like to welcome you to Whistle Bear. This week I've got a few things to tell you about. Um, we are mad busy getting ready to go to Woolin in Dublin. We're really excited about Woolin. It's a brand new wool festival um, in Dublin, in Ireland, where we have never been before. So um, it's very exciting to be invited to go there. And I want to show you today some of the things that we're going to be taking with us. First up is our newest pattern release. This is um, a very pretty little jumper. I hope you'll agree. I am so pleased with it. I just think it's so wearable and so lovely for the summer. Just a little warm extra layer, but no sleeves and things, so ideal for the warmer months. Um, this little jumper is called Mermaid's Pool and it was designed by Kirsty White. A lot of you will know Kirsty because she very kindly comes to a lot of the shows and helps with our stall. And she's also the one that gives you all the help when you need knitting help. So Kirsty's a real asset and really becoming an excellent designer, I think. Um, this jersey has a lovely scooped neck, almost a bateau neck, I would say, and it's knitted from the top down and just has this little lacy wave border that reflects the water in Mermaid's Pool. Mermaid's Pool is a lovely place um, just a little bit further up the coast so if you're ever up in the borders or Northumberland I would really recommend visiting it because it's so picturesque. We will be getting some pictures there probably after we've been to Woolin, one thing at a time. Now Mermaid's Pool is knitted out of our Cheviot Marsh 4-ply. This is all Cheviot Marsh 4-ply in this stand here and we'll be bringing this stand with us to Woolin so you'll have lots of opportunity. It's just two skeins so it's quite a quick knit. Well actually I think the bigger skeins, the bigger size is maybe three, three skeins. This is the medium size and this was definitely two skeins. For those of you that don't know, Cheviot Marsh is our newest yarn and it's our homage to the woolly history of this area of the North East and the borders really. Um, it's a blend of Romney Marsh and Cheviot wool. It's all from animals less than six months old, so this is lamb's wool. And it's wool and spun, so it's robust and bouncy, and it's very much the kind of yarn that the, the farmers, their wives, everybody who lived in this area would have been wearing for the last couple of hundred years. The fibre, the wool, in this yarn was all farmed in the College Valley on the Cheviot Hills. Um, we bought it from friends of ours who farmed there, um, actually two of our boys went and helped shear it. So I said to them, don't come back without the wool, and they didn't. So just really pleased with this beautiful yarn. It's a very, very different character to our shiny, slinky Yevering Bell. And um, for that, it just opens up so many opportunities for different styles of jersey. Um, just like Little Mermaid's Pool here. Really hope you like it. We will be bringing Cheviot Marsh to Woolen. Um, this stand is all four ply. We've got another stand the same of double knit and another one of Aran. Um, as well as these bigger skeins, we also do mini skeins. Here's one. This one's in double knit. Um, double knit is 45 meters. The mini skeins of four ply are 70 meters, and the Aran are. Uh, I can't think. Oh, they're in, they're in this box. Look at that. A whole mishmash of colours. And the Aran are 35 metres. We've knitted all sorts of things out of our Cheviot Marsh. Um, lovely mermaid's pool here. I've also knitted Kate Davies Carbeth um, out of the double knit. For those of you who've seen the pattern, you will know it's a double knit pattern, two ends held together. So I knitted it out of our Northern Soul colourway. And I have to say, I love it. I wear it all the time. It's just um, another easy sloppy joe type jumper that you can wear anytime you want. Definitely one of the strengths of our Cheviot Marsh 
is that it does colour work absolutely beautifully. This is Merry Dancer's Toury, the Shetland Wool Week hat this year, and I think you will agree it's gorgeous. That was knitted out of our double knit. What else can I show you? I tell you what, I think I'm going to get the camera down and take it round the stance and show you some of the colours. to Dublin of course is our Yevering Bell. This is our signature yarn. It's mohair and Wensleydale, all from our own animals here on the farm and it is just so soft and lustrous. It's just the most beautiful yarn. That was our four ply. Here is our Yevering Bell double knit. All of these stands will be piling into the van tomorrow, ready to get off to Ireland. And here finally is the Yevering Bell Aran. Now I should perhaps just warn you all that even though it's only May, this is all our most recent spinning of Yevering Bell and we have nearly run out. We have managed to fill the stands and we are bringing a couple of boxes of extra stock but then that's it. This is the last of this year's spinning of Yevering Bell. We've been shearing the goats and come Christmas we'll have enough to spin again. But it's not surprising, it's so lovely. I have to say my girls work so hard to produce this beautiful yarn. Um, and it's, it's really wonderful that it's really appreciated and it sells really well. Unfortunately though, it is going to run out and um, there won't be any more because we, we don't buy fibre in for um, Yevering Bell. It's all from our own animals and it's all from Whistle Bear. If that's what it says on the label, that is definitely what you're getting. So yes, so this is your first warning klaxon. Yevering Bell is really low in stock. So if you want some, get yourself to wool in or have a look on our website. So we've shown you lots of lovely woolliness, but I know there's something else that you come to Whistle Bear to see, and they're white and they're fluffy and they're cute as anything. So we're going to leave you with a little bit of footage of some of Whistle Bear's babies this year. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we look forward to seeing you all in Ireland. Bye.